old school TMP infield shooting video. Check this out. Got a 226 sitting there. Cerakoted and Patriot Brown. I need some inset footage for that for other tabletop reviews. You can definitely see the lineage crosses over, right? Yeah, and it's it'll be fun shooting them back to back, you know. See, oftentimes my shooting video I need on a video edit is on a hard drive like from three years ago and hunting that hard drive down is a problem. Sometimes they crash too. And yeah, I do have backups. And I've lost the backups as well. Hey, you need to put it on cloud storage, nothing. No way. I'm not putting that online. My own footage. Of which at this point we have hundreds and hundreds of hours of desert run and gun, shooting footage, goofing around footage, adventures. What about 10 years worth? Right. 10 years worth. Year 11, technically, now that we're filming this. So, you won't be rocking a holster. No. What I will try and do is maybe I'll manipulate the safety. The hammer right. drop? Yeah, the hammer drop with the right hand. Sure. We'll just, we'll see how yeah, it whatever goes. Whatever works. Okay, let's go. My LBE carefully placed on the dirt as usual with my defensive Glock 17. And you wonder why everything gets so dirty. You excited about this? I'm excited, this is gonna be cool, man. I'll tell you what, it's smooth, dude. That gun has seen a few rounds and it shoots like it, it's smooth. Well, let's At try your it. leisure, Commander. Ready? No doubt some lefties are gonna give you their technique. Hey, you need to drop the hammer with my technique. That I'm never all, happens in YouTube, does it? I'm all ears. What if there's a thousand comments on it? Are you still all ears? I don't think so. Roger that. Gotcha. How are you digging it? I like the gun, it's really, really smooth. Here comes a butt. Not double action. The double action is long and heavy. Really yeah. long and heavy, but single action is really, really smooth. Really nice. Really nice to shoot. Sights aren't even bad either. Sights are pretty good. So here comes a card pull at this point. Would you pay $500 for this exact gun? and peers are you film i'm loading okay would you pay 500 dollars for this gun what do you think the results are going to be jardine i'm gonna shoot some steel now i think uh, the majority of people are going to say because it's a sig huh? i think the most of people will say because it's a sig and because of the history to the gun they would pay 500 dollars i'm going to say it's going to be 70 to 75 to 80 percent yes they would spend 500 dollars on this majority gun. will be yes i think it'll be a high majority with a p6 where it is now and how rare it is collectability specialness yeah do you have that other mac in the dump pouch okay thank you so this doesn't have the old european heel catch on it which is nice Although when I shot those, I never really minded them that much. When the six first came in, a lot of them, like the 220s, had heel catch magazine uh, releases. It wasn't a push button. Like the uh, Ruger, the European like, one. like the old, like the Ruger, like the, I don't know, what do you mean heel catch? Like out of the, like the, out of yeah, the bottom of Yeah, so it's just the... right here, so you, you know, hit it right okay. here. Okay. I mean, I much prefer a push button, but, you know, this actually is a freaking, Pretty much a collectible, right? That's right. Let's yeah. go barricade. Let me try a long shot with this okay. sucker.
Hey, don't holster that. It's wear and tear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just normal wear and tear, dude. And that brings up an interesting point, too, you know. You have a gun like this. I will say Serpas are very minimal wear, though. It's not like a leather holster or maybe some Kydexes that are very firm fitting. You know, do you buy this gun and just don't shoot it? Is it that special? To some people it might be. I don't think, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that a safe queen, no. I wouldn't either, I would shoot That's it. a shooter. Okay, I'm gonna go double action first, dude. Hit. And in deference to Jardine, I'll do lefty. Check out the rad watch. It's a 1964 production. Russian made and refurbished mechanical. Luftwaffe commemorative. And it makes me happy. Just like this gun makes me happy. It's freaking awesome. This gun is rad. The question I have for guys watching though is that like if you're a SIG collector, the downside of shooting this is you're freaking loading up all the time. Yeah, eight rounds isn't much. Eight plus one, dude, yeah. you load, 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 unless yep. you have a bunch of magazines stored up. That would make sense, but my my point is, if you have a SIG collection with a bunch of SIGs, how often would this be shot? Probably not very. You'd probably go with a 226, maybe 229, mm -hmm. P228. Oopsie. Roll over prone. Hit. Freaking rad. Okay, Jardine, you're up, dude. Okay. I love shooting that gun. It's just so smooth, superbly accurate. Dripping with all kinds of cool history. Kind of a Cold War era gun. The end of the Cold War. If somebody's going to buy this gun, how hard would it be to find magazines, do you think? Oh, you find them. It's just 225 mags. They're all over the place. So, TM Piers, card poll between these two guns, which do you buy? The coded TMP 226 or this uh, P6? AKA 225. Ugh. I don't know how that one's gonna go. Nah. I'm not even gonna hazard a guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 22. I would go 226 personally. I really like that gun. I I, I would go 226 because it's go to war ready, dude. You know what though? You couldn't go wrong with either one. If you if you if you're just buying a nine millimeter sig, you just want a nine mil sig. You're looking at this P6 for its uh, collectability. Kind of a second kind of cool. Right. Makes you happy to shoot it. Yeah, good, both good. make me very happy to good shoot. On you. Love shooting both of them. Uh, you know, 226 is more of a GTW gun for me. Mm -hmm. What if you came home with a $500 gun, you did not clear it with your wife first, what would she say? Well, I just don't tell my wife. Yeah! <laughs> Jardine gets 10 cool points added to his man account. Dude, I never told Mrs. Nothing Fancy about my gun purchases for the longest time. <clears throat> what you do is you clear two or three gun purchases with your wife, and then you just keep adding on. Because I tell you, my wife wouldn't know the difference. It, right. I mean, she wouldn't know the difference. Right. I said, hey, I'm going to grab the SIG today. She'd see this say, well, I, I didn't know it was 10. Oh yeah, babe, it was always 10. That's exactly what she I did with the missus. Missus nothing fancy, I'd buy, they're all black guns, like a black Glock, black SIG, and the 
80s and 90s. She goes, when did you get this? I was like, I've always had that. I've always had that gun. And, and you know, with Glocks, the bonus on Glocks, they all look the same. Well, so, you get I mean, the you coated can. ones now, which are cool. Sure. But most of them are black. Most of them are black. You can't get the green, whatever. Some of those, uh, you get some from a few years back that have the, the, the Glock X. Uh, oh yeah, bad guy, hit it. Hit it. Sig, P6. Hello. Didn't get all the way seated. Guess what, now you gotta reload already. <laughs> That's okay. it. Make them, make them last. Oh, you gonna go from there? Sweet. Yeah. Do pairs. Okay, long shot, back it up. 15 yards. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hit! Hit! All hits. And you are a hero. <laughs> Officer Jardine to the rescue. Ma'am, here's your poodle back. It's a hostage poodle. <laughs> How do you like it? Like it a lot. It's freaking cool, like yeah? It's really cool. The second cool coming off of this thing is on the high level. So okay. I'd buy it. If I'd buy it, 500 bucks, I would buy that gun. Versus but, the 226, I'd probably buy the 226, but this is this is cool. I'd buy this. Hey, I got a loaded up mag for the 226. Let's finish with that. Okay, let's go. Hammer drop. There you go. That's the only thing to remember on a SIG. Before you holster, hammer drop. Because that's a light single action. This it is. All you. So here we go with the big mamma jamma. Kicked that off. TMP, warrior pistol. Still awesome. Not super light. It's 32 ounces. <laughs> 31. I give it a pass just because I like it. Not super great training to come fast back into the holster, but I'm just practicing getting it in the holster. Usually you want to be slow coming, bringing the gun out of action. Fast in the action, slow out of action. One thing I do, and I don't really realize it, and you'll see when I shoot, is I kind of crouch. <laughs> so I'll bring it out, and it's like, and I don't know why I, did. I like it because it kind of lowers my center of gravity because I'm tall and, and if I'm shooting a high recoil gun, it sets me up for that. So mm -hmm. I kind of hunch and then if you see me shoot a really high recoiling gun, I, I actually kind of bring my arm out straight and it allows me to do it. A nine's nothing. So I, I said kind in the holster video. If you care, if you want to be fast, you don't have to come out and shoot, you know, and they don't like you doing it at the range, but you can just be watching television, doing whatever with your SERP on, whatever holster you choose, and you just practice drawing, assessing, coming back. Now, I'm not super fast because we're changing holsters, true or false? True. So like, we'll shoot a gun, different holster, different placement, so my muscle memory isn't really dialed into this one close not really dialed though and then once you practice come out and do it for real and uh that practice you put uh down in your living room will translate here it helps but if you go cold turkey you never practice you don't have that muscle memory just lots of draws back assess holster back holster and you see i'm in the crouch already i didn't mm -hmm. even think about it mm -hmm. but a lot of it's just for practice yeah, and I, like well, another thing i'll do prior to drawing is i'll stretch my hand out so i'll just it's just relaxing so relaxation technique
freaking sick 226, dude. Sweet. Woo! Still Sweet awesome and even more awesome in the Patriot Brown. <laughs> yes. Second cool, first cool, baby. Right, Jardine? Awesome gun. You want to shoot this? Yeah, let's shoot it. Atta boy. Video goes on, by the way. Video goes on. Poor Jardine was cursed for being a freaking uh, lefty. Left I tell you. Hey, nothing fancy. I'm a lefty. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Well, it's it's good for you in sports. Not so much in yeah, the handgun world. Well, just in the gun world, it's more expensive. Yes, it is. Because my, uh, there's a lot less versions of the guns you like in left-handed you know, versions. And, you know, like all my AR-15s, I've had to outfit to be left-handed. So, or ambidextrous. But you learn. You learn uh, little tricks and things you can do to mitigate the hassle of being right of having a right-handed gun for a left-handed shooter. Most women don't like left-handed fellers. <laughs> Dude, what are you laughing about? All the right-handed guys get all the hot women. You know this to be true. Not my experience. Don't show this to your wife, by the way. Not my experience. <laughs> kidding. Totally kidding. 18. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's shoot this. Okay, start it out at the barricade. Actually, just right here. Let's do the stay close. It's funner that way. Now. At your leisure, Commander. I'm gonna just stay at low ready. Yeah, sounds right, good. Right? Now we decided today not to do whistle. You might be wondering. We just made that decision on today's shoot. We're not doing whistle, just kind of self-paced shooting. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. I messed up on the trigger reset. It's all right. Far enough. It's new to you. We do a lot of messing up out here. Would you go to war with that gun? Yes. After some practice, definitely. Yeah, practice with the trigger a little bit. It is definitely a lot heavier than uh, if, if you shoot a, a polymer frame gun. Hey, this, is, this is definitely a lot heavier than what you'd be used to. And as I demonstrated right there, I didn't reset. I didn't come back far enough on the reset. It has kind of a longer reset than we're, that I'm used to. But nothing you can't solve with practice. You can right. fix that with a little bit of practice. These are wearing the Heine straight eight sights, probably my overall favorite in the world. They're simple tritium and they're precise and quick acquisition. Absolutely love them. Heine straight eights. They also make a ledge version, but they're harder to find. I kept the grips black on this one just for some contrast and I didn't want to coat them to lessen grip. These do have good grip. These are great. They're good. Yeah, yeah. as far as uh, traction on your hand, they're really good. You can improve it. There's other grips you can put on it. The Hogs are amazingly grippy, but they're rubbery and they catch on this stuff. Mm. Cool. Right now, right here, you got to decide between the P6 and this. Go. P226. I'll go with that one as well. P6 is great, though. P6 is great. It's great. It's second cool great. They both have their place in the... Hall of Fame pistols in the Nothing Fancy Project. And we're done. See you later.